on Channel 4. Hey guys, Danielle with Honey Truck here. Um, I'm gonna be collecting a swarm today and I'm gonna teach you how. All right guys, so I'm actually about to collect this swarm and here are some of the tools that I have. I've got my smoker. I don't think I'll need it. Um, I don't believe they've built comb. I would typically use a smoker just to kind of move them around to see if there's any comb that's under there. Um, but I think that there, this is all just an entire cluster of bees. Um, I've also fully suited up because while I could catch the swarm without a suit, I personally don't like getting stung. So I try and mitigate that from happening. And I've got my hive box here and we're gonna put it underneath this swarm. And we have some pre-coated frames with wax. Uh, that I've melted down from um, honey harvest and whatnot. They're old frames. And you can already tell that the bees are flying around it. They can smell it. One of the methods that we can do to catch a swarm of bees is by putting up a frame of already produced um, wax for them. You can tell that they are looking for a home and this smells really good to them. It's a great resource. They wouldn't have to build very much with it. Um, and that's what we're gonna encourage them to do. Another method of catching these bees is you could put this box entirely under the frame and whack this table as hard as possible and that cluster of bees will fall down in there um, because the main purpose is we're trying to get the queen which is at the center of this hive. When this swarm left their colony, they took their queen with them. The queen um, laid eggs and they have given it royal jelly to create other queens to leave behind in that hive. But the original queen is in this swarm and that's our goal to catch her. You catch the queen, you catch the swarm. Um, oftentimes I'll put a blanket down on the ground uh, because it makes it easier to see if you knock the hive down. If the queen falls, um, you can easily see her. Uh, but you'll be able to tell if we've caught the queen, all of the bees will start going into this box. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I didn't want to disturb the bees too much, so I gently stuck my hand inside the swarm to break the festoon chain they had on the table. Finding the queen can be hard. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but she's often at the very center of the swarm. To get the rest of the bees, I gently scooped them away from the table and then laid them in the nuke box. I then closed the lid and set them on the table. I began tapping on the side of the nuke box. This helps bees identify that there's a hollow cavity nearby that could be a suitable home. It helps lure the bees into the nuke box. An identifying way to tell if you have the queen is you'll notice bees fanning the entrance. The queen emits a pheromone and the bees are able to locate her easily. Once the bees are inside the nuke box, you'll plug their entrance and then quickly transport them to their new home. Once they've arrived, don't forget to unplug their entrance so they're free to fly about. As we take a look at the rest of the afternoon, 